Hi everyone, Snipe Trading here with another ThinkScript tutorial. And in this video, we're going to talk about SSR and how to add that to your chart. Since ThinkOSWIM does not have that feature, we're going to create an indicator to have a label on our chart. So what is SSR? SSR stands for short sell restriction and it prevents short sellers from hitting the bid, bringing the stock down. So short sellers can only get filled in the uptick uh, where buyers have to buy from the short sellers on the ask. And it gets triggered if any time during the previous day or today it, it was below negative 10% on the day. And if it does trigger, it will also continue on to the next day. So I have here a PRTA, it has short sale restriction and it's an orange color. So it tells me that it was triggered yesterday. And some of these ones that are like negative 25%. If I go here, so you can see this one is a red color. So it triggered today. So, all right. So to start, let's go reset the chart to factor setting. So we have a clean chart. And then to start a new study, we click on the flask here, edit studies, and then click on the create tab. And we'll give it a name. We'll give it SSR example. And we go to the ThinkScript editor here, um, to just delete what was on there. And since the calculation will be based on the daily time frame for SSR, we're going to put input period equals aggregation period day. So regardless of what time frame you're on, if you're in the intraday, it's going to just evaluate these data points on the day. So we have two statements that we're trying to identify. One is checking if today is SSR trigger or the next statement would be yesterday if SSR was triggered. So let's go do SSR today and we're going and this will be defined as the low of the current day, which is today and the the percentage is calculated by the close of previous day. So since we're using a low, it will tell us the kind of the absolute, the lowest point of the day, right? The percent change. And we're going to use this and divide it by the ratio. And this whole thing will be multiplied by 100 to get the percentage. And then we're going to add the if statement on here. And then if so, if this is less than negative 10%, right, then that would trigger SSR. Then the statement is true, one else zero. So we have this statement is if um, the difference between the low and the close is divided by the close of yesterday, so that's the percent change, uh, the lowest percent change of yesterday, today, it's less than negative 10%, then it'll be a short sell. And we're going to add, since we're going to evaluate based off of the daily time frame, we're going to add in parentheses in each of these period equals period um, that we define up here. And this is just going to tell us that for each of these data points, we are going to look at the daily candles. So we're going to add these on all these. And then we're just going to copy this whole thing and let's paste that. And now, now let's change this to previous day. And for the previous day, we're just going to use the glow of yesterday. And then we're going to use the close of two days ago. So that's going to be the percent change of yesterday. And if that is also below 10%, then it will be a true statement. So we got our statement defined, and if any of these are true, then you get a one outputted or true statement. So to add a label, we're going to go do add label parentheses, and the first parameter here would be a yes, and it just means that to show plot or not. So we're going to put yes. The second parameter here is going to be what is going to display on the label. So we want it to display SSR if any of these statements are true. So we're going to do an if condition here, if SSR today or SSR pre previous. So if any of these are true, then we're going to label it SSR. 
else, if it's not true, then we're just going to give it a blank, uh, blank label. And then the third parameter you want to add here is color, the color of the label. So you can do yellow here and let's test this out, apply. And then here, now you got your SSR and it's yellow. But let's go a little bit further and maybe we want the color if SSR is today, then color is red. Else, if SSR was yesterday, previous, then color is orange. Else, anything else would be color.yellow. So this is going to give us the color red if the SSR triggered today. Uh, if it didn't trigger today and it's still on SSR, then it will be orange if it triggered yesterday. So let's hit apply here and OK, apply, OK, and then let's test some of these out. So we got SSR, SSR on here for this day, this one, GNUS. So these are all 10% and lower. So that's true. So you got SSR on here. So at any given point, this was below 10%, it triggered. Um, so let's, let's look for stocks that were up today and see if any of these triggered. Um, had SSR on. So this one had SSR on, this is HPR. So this had SSR on today. So how did that happen? So it happened because the close was here. And let me see, is that correct? So this happened yesterday. So that looks true, uh, but it also happened today. Um, This one happened yesterday. We got a close. So it looks like this uh, label is working out. So, okay, so, so there you have it. You got SSR, uh, orange, if it triggered yesterday. And if it triggered today, then it'll be a red. So if you, if you like these videos, uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to hear other future videos, and I'll copy the code right below in the pinned comment below. All right, and thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.